welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Caitlin. I make videos about wife life, motherhood, and lifestyle. And today, I'm gonna be filming a grocery haul for you guys. I went to two different stores, Aldi and Hy-Vee. I also went to Target and got a few things at Target too. So there's a Aldi, a Hy-Vee, and a Target haul in this video for you guys. I have a family of five. That's how many people I am shopping for. I do kind of plan out my meals and things that we are gonna be eating, so everything that I buy is pretty intentional. And I go over all the items that I purchased and what I would probably be using it for. And I'm also gonna link some recipes down below for you guys that we're gonna be trying out this week. But let's go ahead and get started with my grocery haul. Okay guys, so I have laid everything out on the table for you and I pretty much split them up by Aldi and then Hy-Vee. Aldi, I definitely got a lot more, but I will kind of walk you through each item that I got. And I also wanted to explain a couple of the meal ideas I have for this week. And I can even link the recipes down below for those meals if they sound or look good to you. But so first of all, I start at Aldi and I always like to go to Aldi first because I like to get my produce there. As you can see, their produce is great, you guys, and it's such a great price and they pretty much always have what I'm looking for. So I always go to Aldi first and then, like I said, finish off at Hy-Vee. So we got some apples. We always get apples. This week I got Honeycrisp and my son also loves green apples. So I got some Granny Smith ones as well. I did pick up three avocados. These are great size and less than a dollar at Aldi. And then I got a bag of oranges, some bananas. Also got some sweet potatoes. So this week I'm gonna be making sweet potato bowls, which is kind of like rice bowls, but instead of rice, I'm using sweet potatoes. And in that bowl, like I said, I'll post the link down below. And I'll try to pop a picture on the screen for you guys for my inspiration. But I believe it's sweet potatoes, avocado, and then um, pico de gallo. So we also got some pico de gallo from Aldi. And then lettuce. And so for lettuce, I went with the organic romaine hearts. So I can just chop this up as lettuce. And I believe that's it. Oh yeah, there's one more ingredient and I'll show you um, once we get to Aldi. So you can just kind of throw whatever you want in that bowl. But again, I'll link the recipe down below for you. Um, I did pick up some Baby Bell cheese from Aldi because my kids love these cheese. I actually love these too if I'm like really hungry and just need a little snack. Those are a great option. We always get our frozen fruit from Aldi. We actually already had um, a berry medley and a blueberry pack in our freezer. So we just did the frozen strawberries this week. Um, I did get a bag of spinach this week because... My daughter decided for breakfast this week, she wants to do, or next week, she wants to do smoothies. So I'm gonna throw some spinach in her smoothies and I'll definitely throw spinach in my smoothies as well. And then, um, this is all Aldi still. So at Aldi, I got a few more snacks for the kids. And then I've been seeing these in store a lot. So I wanted to give these a try, the Go Go, Go Squeeze um, fruit on the go. So that's another great snack for them to grab. I always get my organic eggs from Aldi. So we got two um, cases of those, dozens, two dozen. And then, so I always switch up the kids breakfast every week. I might ask them what they're wanting for breakfast or I'll just kind of get creative. I know my son really likes the pancake on a stick. So, um, you can pick this up from Aldi. I'm sure they have, you know, like a regular brand at other stores, but it's a great price at Aldi. You get 10 of them. So we always get coconut milk from Aldi. We like to put coconut milk in our smoothies. We do have some left. That's why I only got one. Lately, I have been picking up the Annie's um, organic pasta, like basically mac and cheese for the kids at Aldi. Um, it's just, I think it's cheaper there than it is like at Hy-Vee or other stores. But I've been picking up one box a week just for those nights where maybe the kids don't want my leftovers or they're not feeling what I'm cooking. And 
or it's lunchtime and they're hungry and it's just something quick and easy to whip up for them. So it's just nice to have it on hand. Another thing I love to get at Aldi, get this sweet and spicy chunk light tuna, um, these tuna packets. I just love this flavor, the sweet and spicy. I mix it with a little mayo and then I put it on everything but the bagel rice cakes. I also add avocado and then maybe a little salt if I want and I just love that for a healthy quick snack or lunchtime. And then a few more things I got at Aldi. We were needing some pepper and I normally just get like I'm pepper normally but I wanted to try out this black peppercorn um, with the grinder so that's what I got for pepper this week that will obviously last us a while um, I needed black beans oh yeah black beans is another ingredient that can go in those sweet potato bowls so um, I did pick up the organic black beans I got two cans of those from Aldi and then the last things that I got from Aldi, I just discovered these like last week. So after dinner, I always do crave like a little sweet treat. Um, and I've noticed that even just getting, oh, I realized I got the wrong kind. Last time I just got dark chocolate. This one is dark chocolate filled with cocoa cream, cocoa nibs, or cacao nibs, and hazelnuts, which still sounds good and I'm sure I'll still like it. But as you can see, these are like little squares here. And like just to have two or three of them after dinner, it satisfies my sweet tooth. My husband really likes them too. And I just think it keeps us from like wanting to indulge in ice cream or something a lot bigger, just having a couple of these. Um, so maybe if you guys are looking for a way to, you know, um, cure your little sweet tooth, I definitely recommend just getting some dark chocolate. This one is alpine milk chocolate with hazelnuts they have different flavors but yeah i'm not sure what this brand is exactly if they make other stuff but this was at aldi okay so now i'm gonna move oh one more thing oh two more things i'm sorry see a lot of this is from aldi this is all aldi and then this little corner right here is hybe so i used to buy the cascade um little dishwasher pods until i realized that aldi sold this brand this radiance ultra and they work just as well and they're about half the price so i always get these for my dishwasher pods from aldi and then um we do feed our cat canned cat food instead of like the dry food so i used to buy like rachel ray or different brands from like hy V or something but i just kind of settled for aldi and i love the size of them i believe they're three ounces which is perfect we give her one in the morning and one at night kind of like breakfast and dinner and there's different flavors um so this is our cat food that we buy at aldi so that concludes my aldi haul and now we'll move to what we got from hy V. Okay, so this week I was really craving some sausage patties, so I'll probably just whip these up for myself or even the kids for breakfast. Okay, so one of the meals I'm gonna make for dinner this week is a red sauce pasta with Italian sausage. So I did pick up this Italian pork sausage. I got some organic roasted garlic pasta sauce. And then instead of just using like regular pasta that I normally would in the past, I wanted to try this Bonza rigatoni made from chickpeas. So that is a healthier option. And I just kind of wanted to taste test it and see kind of if I could tell like a really big difference or if it's something that we would enjoy to eat. It does have 22 grams of protein and eight grams of fiber, which is also great. So I'm excited to try this Bonza pasta with the pasta sauce and Italian sausage. Again, this is all from hy V. Um, my husband recently discovered these Dannon light and fit Greek yogurts. We always like the toasted coconut vanilla flavor. Whatever brand we can find that has that flavor, we always get that. We love that one. And then this week we're trying strawberry banana as well. So he, he'll usually take one of these to work with him for a snack or with his lunch. 
So with those sweet potato bowls that I plan on making, I am gonna drizzle some of this um, Primal Kitchen cilantro lime avocado oil, like this dressing, um, on top of the bowl. So I think that will add a nice little touch and give it some more flavor. And then because we did get the pancakes on a stick, I needed some um, maple syrup and also the 100% pure maple syrup is really good for putting in your oatmeal. So my husband kind of struggles from a little bit of athlete's foot. He is a boxer and has been playing soccer recently as well. Um, so we looked up some basically some solutions for his feet and we found that soaking some Epsom salts with um, apple cider vinegar is I guess the trick and it also says you know it cleanses away bodies impurities helps you feel more energized which is great because he's always working and training and eases aches and soreness from muscle pains so I think that's really great for him as well and then the last thing that I did get at Hy-Vee, which I don't always buy. It's actually been a while, but I wanted another quick snack that the kids could grab when they're hungry that's better than just like chips or something. So we went with the Uncrustables. Our whole family likes these um, for a great snack. So that's my little Hy-Vee haul. And again, that is the Aldi haul. And then I did pick up a few things at Target. So I'm gonna show you what I got from there now over on the couch. Okay, so now on to our Target haul. So I'm just gonna start on this side. I needed a mouse pad for my computer mouse. So um, I picked this up at Target, it was only $3. They didn't have that much options to choose from, so I just went with the black with this cute little detailing on it. Again, only three, three bucks, so I was happy with that price. We do have my, okay, so I have a dinner date with my friend tonight and her little girls and her husband are coming to hang out with my kids and my husband. So I thought it would be fun for the kids if they wanted to do some chalk outside. It's a really nice day out today. So I picked up this pretty big, um, looks like there's 48 different chalks for, I think it was like $4.99. So um, even if the kids don't get to it tonight, my kids will definitely have fun with that. Okay, so I picked up this. It's a ball maintenance kit. Um, I really just got it because it's a ball pump and we needed a soccer ball pump because my son and my husband play soccer and our balls need to be aired up. So I got one of those at Target. And then we also needed a new set of tongs for the kitchen. The ones that I have had recently just broke on me and I've had them for years. We also needed some sponges. So, um, I do like to get the Scotch-Brite brand if I can. And um, I just like this like green or clean, like the neutral color option. So I picked those up. We were out of hand soap, or we're getting really low on hand soap in our kitchen. Um, I normally get my foaming hand soap from Bath & Body Works, but I also really love Mrs. Meyer's hand soap, and I just went with the Lemon Verbena um, scent for the kitchen. I thought it would be a nice scent for our kitchen, so I got that for hand soap. I don't normally buy Glade candles. Um, I know in the like years ago I did, but um, we don't have any candles right now. Again, I haven't been to Bath & Body Works, Actually, I just went a couple weeks ago, but I just got the wallflowers. I didn't pick up any candles or soap. So while I was at Target, I just picked up this $3 candle. Smells super good, comforting, just like it says, cashmere woods. So I love that. We're gonna light that probably tonight. My son, um, he kind of is rough with his toothbrushes. Like when he brushes his teeth, like the bristles are just like going everywhere. And he just got a toothbrush not that long ago from the dentist but he needs a new one. So I picked up this two pack from um, Oral-B because that is the brand that our dentist gives us. So I thought I would stick with that. So I recently did get my hair done and my hairstylist Katie actually put me on to this brand, Kristen S. Um, and it's the dry conditioner. She actually used it in my hair and it was so soft. Made my hair feel so soft and it smelled really good. And they actually have like a whole hair care product line at Target. So um, it's somewhat affordable. This bottle, it's kind of small, but it was like $15. But for salon quality, um, I definitely would recommend checking out that line at Target. 
So a couple clothing items. Um, my daughter is in desperate need of shorts, so I just picked her up a couple pair today. These were $8 each from Cat and Jack. She's 10 years old, guys, but she is super skinny, so she still wears like size 7, 8, and luckily this can probably tie even tighter if she needs it tighter, but I thought the length looked good since she is a little bit tall. So I just got her this like brownish, reddish tone um, pair and then a black pair, so I thought those could match a lot of different things. And then the last thing I got at Target, um, I got this cute little sweater. I thought the weather is not like, it's kind of in between like hot and cold right now and I thought that I could wear like a cute tank top under this. I could pair this with jeans or shorts. Like I said, I have a dinner date with my friend tonight so I was thinking maybe I could wear this. I haven't tried it on yet but it's from the brand A New Day. I got an extra small and it was $27.99. But I really like it. I think it's a piece that I can use even for like a little cover up um, even in the summer when it's like chilly at nighttime. So excited about that. That is my Target haul. Okay guys, well that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul plus a little Target haul as well. Again, hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye.